Hello guys and welcome to today's video. It is the morning of the high rocks. We're heading over, 10 minute walk, feeling good, feeling like a million bucks, despite the fact that we're on about four or five hours sleep. Who needs it? Sleep? You need sleep? We're gonna go here, absolutely crush us out of the park. I'm not even joking when I say we're feeling 110%. So I wouldn't like to be any I'd of those. I'd say I'm feeling a million dollars, but that wouldn't represent it enough. We are. Whew. I would not like to be any of the other Hyrox competitors, juiced or not, because you're all going down from these two fucking frauds. We've a bit of bad news on a morning that's going to be predominantly populated with good news. A videographer pulled out last, well actually he didn't pull out last minute. He wanted to charge 700 euro to come down and witness the two of us in action. I said, mate, you can fucking keep it. Hopefully we can get someone to grab a couple of clips inside here. Uh, should be handy enough. If not, we'll let you know exactly how we got on. Myself and Sean arrived to the men's doubles. The men's doubles was already gone and we were up in five minutes to sink in with the females and the males. So we had no warm up, we were hung over, we were jet lagged and we still did what? Finished six minutes behind the winner. An hour and 15 or? 16? An hour and 16. So we were six minutes behind the winner of the males doubles. Fuck me, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I got no footage of ourselves doing it because we were too late obviously and we had no video videographer. We barely started the race ourselves. It, look, we, were, we were lucky to get here and even participate in the fucking thing let alone get footage. But that, super super happy of that. It was bad enough us picking our flight right the night before coming over to the other side of the world. But like the ridiculousness didn't stop at that. The, the, the alcohol. We took our time sauntering around fucking downtown LA looking for a can of monster. And we were half an hour late showing up to the fucking fitness event. When we arrived, we realized that the men's doubles had already fucking gone. So all that was left was to slip in with the men and the female. Which we had to go to Which we had to go to immediately. We got, I think she said, she gave us three minutes of a warm up. Two cans of monster, I started beeling a shit coming. <laughs> so I hadn't time to run to the toilet. We hadn't, thought we had an hour. Thought we had an hour, we had three minutes, hadn't enough time to warm up, hadn't enough time to go to the toilet. So it didn't stop at the fact that we, we bought a flight, right, the night before, coming over to LA. Drink. Right, that's bad enough. Drink. Drink, the Drink, got absolutely pissed out of hangover when it woke up seven hours into the flight. Right, we were jet lagged waking up this morning. Thank you very much, sir. And then we arrived late to the fucking event itself and we still smashed it. We still got a great time out of it. So like an hour and 16, if, with the winner was a, an hour and 10. Or something, yeah, in around that for the mixed doubles. Like that's not fucking bad for two fellas who train two weeks out, given the circumstances. We'll probably try, will we do another one? Yeah, we'll do another one. There's another one in March in Birmingham and we'll properly train for that. I think that one was longer, Sean was saying, yeah. than a typical high rocks. Because we were looking at times thinking we could do like 55 minutes, but I, I, I don't think 55 minutes would have been possible with that. I don't think below an hour. We're not gonna make excuses, like we're not making excuses with that. Like it's a good learning experience, but if we train properly for the next one, we'll fucking, we'll smash it out of the park. Cause that was actually really, really good. We were very, very happy with how that went overall. I could have gone the rest of my life without knowing the calories in my typical McDonald's order. It's actually kind of ruined the experience for me now. It was 1600 or something in just the double bacon and cheese, the fries, and then I have Mac Nuggets on top of that. The only bonus being that of like 20,000 steps on the board today, most of which were done under duress this morning. So I think it's fair enough to assume that I've earned it. We are on the way to Vegas. We left the hotel there about three hours ago. Um, fucking in the middle of Death Valley right now. It's a lot colder this time of year than the last time I ran through. After the High Rocks, I got a custom made embroidered fitness t-shirt for the app that's going to be coming out. I'm gonna be wearing the shit out of this everywhere. We're heading to Vegas, gonna be watching Paddy the Baddy fighting tonight in the UFC and then going straight to Marshmello afterwards. Uh, after that, we'll probably be in Mexico this time tomorrow, who knows? Fit check before we tear up Vegas tonight. We're gonna go with the high top Nikes, the Tesco cargos. We're repping with the Fitness app t shirt. And wait, come in, come in. To top off the outfit, we have the Aldi jocks. So some lucky woman's gonna be seeing these tonight. Right, 
so the two of us got back from Marshmallow last night at 3 a.m. We got to bed at half three, and after a firm hour and a half sleep, we're up, we're ready to attack the day. There's nothing gonna stop us now at this stage. Um, four hour drive back to Vegas, thank fuck I'm not driving. And then we're gonna be catching a flight to El Cabo in Mexico. So I'm gonna end the, vi end the video here. Thank you as always for tuning in. Make sure to drop the video a like, a subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and we shall check in in Mexico.